The Jersey Shore has been canceled. But don't worry, Shoreheads. Empty out your drool cups and get ready for more of the same. We're talking racist reality television. That's today's BFD. Brain Food Daily. Hey, I'm Joe. Welcome to Brain Food Daily. Believe it or not, reality TV existed long before the days of Honey Boo Boo, Flava Flav, and Kim Kardashian's ass. Way back in 1973, PBS had An American Family. It explored sexuality and relationships with tact and sensitivity. In other words, 20 years later, QMTV's The Real World. Seven ethnically diverse strangers get plucked from the real life to drink, fight, and hook up, all for our entertainment. Nice. While it was never a shoe in for a Peabody, the real world still treated its cast as real people with real issues. Remember when Pedro had to deal with Puck and having AIDS? That stuff got real. But after 20 seasons and countless spin offs, road rules, etc., etc., it all started feeling a little stale. Then along came Jersey Shore. MTV's Jersey Shore started with a casting call for proud Guidos and Guidettes, a term that most Italians find completely offensive. But these idiots wore the terms like a badge of honor. Bada bing, bada boom, situation comedy. I've never watched that show, so I don't know if that's accurate or not. It was ratings gold, so Hollywood did what it does best, rip that shit off. And lo and behold, the great American immigrant story was rewritten. Iranian Americans in California became Shahs of Sunset. Young Koreans took us on drunken tours of K-Town. Russian Americans were repackaged as Russian dolls. Hookers, are they hookers in that show? I'll watch it if I think they're hookers. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, along came a show about the proud Romani people. What, you, you've never heard of them? No problem, let's call that one American Gypsies. Oh, I know what Gypsies are. I love Gypsies. Are race-based reality shows here to stay? Well, to find out, I visited the Beverly Hills offices of Pungent Pictures, a leading producer of reality television. Nick, thanks so much for having me. So tell me about Pungent. Oh, sure, I mean, at Pungent, we don't really see race. The audience is looking to see themselves in the characters. They're not looking to judge, they're looking to connect. That is why we are so excited about Transylvanian Tranny. We found five wonderful pre-operative transsexual men. We brought them to Hollywood, got them jobs, Sephora, Knott's Berry Farm, the CAA mailroom. Just five normal Eastern European transgendered immigrants who are looking to find their way in LA and learning to speak English. None of them spoke English. <laughs> Shh, but you know, how is that racist? Tranny is a derogatory term, isn't Not it? Not at all. You know, we did lots of testing and tranny just popped. We needed something strong to go up against Honey Boo Boo. Introducing the star of our newest reality series, American African Warrior. Do you sign your contract? <laughs> we love him, right? He's great. It's gonna be really great. A lot of attitude. Look, I know what you're thinking. I get it. On the outside, it's menacing, hateful, but there's more to the story. Gay Klansmen. Oh dear. Sure, I hate blacks, Jews, Arabs, Asians, but sometimes it's me I hate the most. Oh my goodness. We're looking to launch this fall on the Learning Channel. So American African Warrior, Gay Klansman, Transylvania Tranny. I gotta say, Nick, I'm seeing a lot of race-based shows in your development slate. Tomato, tomato. Where you see race, I see proud subcultures. Where you see stereotypes, I see... Bigotry, yeah. race baiting, dumbing down. Uh, I, I think we're done here. Okay, do you validate? See? All you need to get a reality show made is an ethnic stereotype and a catchy title. Now, I'm not going to pretend that these shows aren't entertaining. I mean, nothing makes me feel better about my own sad life choices than watching Snooki make hers. But the problem is, most people only see these ethnic groups when they're on these TV shows and no one should judge another culture by a reality show. But what do you think? Are these shows an embarrassment, or is it just a bit of mindless fun? Let's take this to the comments and sort it out. Now, if you'll excuse me, Hillbilly Handfishing is on. I'm Joe for Brain Food Daily. We'll see you next time. Bye. Tiny wave. Brain Food Daily. Yeah.